Welcome back. We're talking with Wade Phillips. He's the new director of public works here in Harrison, Arkansas. Welcome How you doing? to the show. Thank you. You are new to our show, and uh, we've actually we've not talked to you, and, and uh, this is probably the first time we've had the opportunity to have you in the studios, and we thank you so much for being here. Not a problem. You got a new job? I do. I do. Big job. <laughs> is it? Is it? A, do you feel like it's a, a big job for you? Oh yeah, it's it's a good job. It's a, it's interesting, very rewarding so far. So. Uh, what kind of what kind of things are you involved with right now? I know we just uh, you know being thrust into a new job like this, and all of a sudden. The, the banks of Crooked Creeks are almost to the point where they're overflowing. Yeah, yeah. Deal, deal, put, dealing that dealing that with the a... flood initially, that was uh, slows down, uh, I guess, <laughs> getting caught up on everything else. But we've got to address, yeah. address those issues as they come up. We've been, uh, fortunately, uh, you know, we came through from an infrastructure standpoint in pretty good shape after mm -hmm. the floods. I know a lot of, a lot of people and businesses dealt with flooding, and, and right. those issues have to be mm -hmm. taken care of. But from an infrastructure standpoint, we. We managed at the wastewater treatment plant and were able to get as many of the our bridges held up, low water crossings, things like that. So a little scary when you drive around town and know that that's part of your job. Yeah. To make it sure is. that those things stay in place it and is. they're functional operating. Yep. But uh, uh, let's talk about some other things. Uh, public works, what does that involve? Um, well, typically, uh, you know, some of our main services, the water and wastewater department run through public works, streets mm -hmm. and drainage. Um, Cemeteries, uh, solid waste. You know, we, we handle mm -hmm. the solid waste contract with uh, uh, Methman Sanitation right now. Uh, uh, building and maintenance, purchasing, uh, code enforcement. Those are those are the departments that that run out of mm -hmm. public works. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, uh, just recently, uh, there's been a a a, a big uh, push for a road diet. Yes. Are you involved with that? I'm involved in. Helping implement it, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, and that uh, was kind of a controversial thing in the beginning. It was, it was. Uh, and I think some people didn't understand uh, the need for it and they didn't want change yeah. or for whatever reason. Is, is that project uh, full speed ahead? As far as I know right now, uh, you know, the, the council voted to move forward with taking mm -hmm. over the mm -hmm. control of the small section of Main Street. Um, and basically what it requires is a minute order from the Highway Commission. They've had their last meeting. We're waiting on the notice from them that they've, mm -hmm. they've approved it. Now, that, that's typically owned by the highway department now, right? Yeah, well, it's... it's a business, uh, 60, yeah, 65. 60, 65 business is, a, is part of the state highway mm -hmm. system right mm -hmm. now, yes. And, and, and uh, if a road diet is implemented, yes. they will back away, is that correct? Correct. What, what the resolution that the, uh, the council passed was to take over maintenance in control and operation of the of the roadway from well, it would be from central uh, mm -hmm. north to uh, industrial park road mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. north interchange right um, the road diet would only apply from basically central through the square up to spruce street just mm -hmm. a little, little bit before you got mm -hmm. to master chef mm -hmm. uh, oh okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. wow big um, undertaking yeah, yeah. What, uh, uh, yeah, I'm trying to get a handle on, on what you do. I know what you do. I, I just wonder if, if you've got input from the public on what what uh, they'd like you to improve or do you have plans to improve other than the road diet? Is, is there things or ongoing things that the city wants to do now? As far as as part of the, the road diet that downtown? Not, not so much no, that, but uh, do, In general, I yeah. think. Oh, in general, uh, well. Obviously, drainage is going to have to be a focus. Right. So. I mean, I wondered it, if that was an issue. Yes, it was. And I've, I've spent a good part of my first couple months here going and meeting people about drainage issues. And where, we've always had trouble with drainage when, when we have yeah, flash it's, flooding. It's, it's we're, we're a hilly region, and, mm -hmm. and it's, we've got a lot of drainage ditches around town. And that's just something we're going to have to deal with. I've been looking a lot at uh, areas where we can look at detention to try and slow down some of that mm -hmm. drainage and help off, you know, help. Mm -hmm. Helps mm -hmm. soften the, the flash floods, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. That's one thing we don't have a lot of. And over the years, we've had some that's we've we've lost to development, and so that that hurts us too. Right. Mm -hmm. As far as flooding, uh, mm -hmm. we've got we've got a lot of work to do on the water and wastewater system. We've got people with brown water, uh, low water pressure. We've got some projects rolling out this summer addressing both of those uh, streets. We've got quite a bit to do on maintaining streets. Uh, uh, now it's just not you and in in, uh, doing all this work. I mean, you have you have at least some no. We have we have a street on. supervisor. We have you know water and wastewater construction supervisor, treatment plant manager for the wastewater. 
Mm -hmm. yeah, all the all the separate departments have their mm -hmm. have their individual mm -hmm. managers that that report to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, last uh, week or so ago, or a couple, three weeks ago, we had had the flood to go through here, and uh, we want to let people know about a a, a, a meeting that uh, for the for public for yes. public people public land. They're going to have a meeting at. Uh, have you got here. part two there? It's uh, here. It's at 400 South Prospect or East Prospect or East Prospect. Yep. It's the old uh, sheriff's office. It's it's a new emergency uh, management office. Yep. And they're going to have a meeting there uh, in Harrison, 10, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And they enc encourage right. people to come out if you have private land. Is that correct? Yeah, what that is, that's for private property uh, where they've received flood damage. Um, they, FEMA sort of treats uh, public entities and private people separately. You know, I, I just came from a public assistance meeting dealing, dealing with cities and municipal other municipalities. Uh, you know, they specifically told us we can't do any debris removal or help with people on flooding issues on their private property. Mm -hmm. They need to go through FEMA individually. Mm -hmm. So certainly this is geared for you, for the private citizens that don't know what help FEMA can give Correct. or what's the next step Correct. for them. And, and we want to encourage people to Yeah, and what we've tried to, to do with, with people that have, have contacted us, uh, we've tried to steer them towards uh, the FEMA.gov website. It's it's actually a, a pretty mm -hmm. decent website, and there's mm -hmm. specific sections in there for okay. private assistance. So if you feel like you do need that assistance, uh, by all means, contact them, and they'll probably have a representative that will call you back and, yes. and direct you on where to go. But this this meeting is very important. I think FEMA wants uh, anyone out there that uh, feels like they qualify or, or need to qualify for some assistance that they need to come to this meeting, and, and there'll be representatives there to talk about it. And again, that's June 11th from 10 to 4 at 400 East Prospect, which is the old sheriff's office, mm -hmm. which is now the new Office of Emergency Management. Mm -hmm. Well, Wade, we appreciate you Thank coming you in. Thank you for coming in. We appreciate in. you having me. And uh, we'll probably be calling on you from time to time sure. when we have a question about what's going on, and, and hopefully bring you in here, uh, letting the people of Harrison and our surrounding areas know about what's going on which is a, a, a good, uh, good way to give them the knowledge that they need. It Good is. communication. All right. Thanks, Wade, for being here. Thank thanks. you. All right. We'd like to thank everybody for being on the show today. We had uh, Mike McClintock, and he was talking about the uh, several things with your ground and your garden and different things like that. And then Emily McCormick came all the way over from Eureka Springs. Where they're having a Turpentine Creek powwow. That's, a benefit, I'd like to see that. A benefit to um, help with the cost for Turpentine mm -hmm. Creek, and they're always doing good things mm -hmm. there. And then we had an uh, a, uh, interview with the new uh, head coach of Harrison uh, Goblins, Wade Harbison. Or Chad Harbison. Chad Harbison. Uh -huh. And then we had Wade Phillips here from the Harrison Public Works. And so, we'd like to thank you for joining you. us. Yeah, I had me. You had you. And, and you had, had you. me. And here we are. And see you next week. <laughs>